Here at Zaoyuan in Yan'an, during China's war of resistance against Japanese aggression, as darkness spreads in the depth of night, the enemies wave their flashing bayonets menacingly. As the battle rages on in the harsh winds, the flames of hope flicker and glare. In this showdown between light and dark, in this fight for faith and conviction, everything is at stake. As light penetrates the darkness, the victory of revolution promises a transformed China. This is the imminent dawn for the People's Republic of China. In the imminent dawn created by Shi Lu, spectators can join the artists in peering into the window of Chairman Mao Zedong's dwelling. They can experience the dawning of a new epoch, brought about by the Chinese Revolution. Dominated by the trees, mountain slopes, and cave dwelling in between. The composition lacks any human figure, but this is an inspired absence. With his muscular lines and stark palette, Shi Lu has conveyed the eager hopes and expectations just ahead of the birth of a new order. From the cave dwelling window, bathed in pale light, the spectator can sense the approaching great era. Shi Lu, this piece has achieved a very high achievement. 用一种突破传统的表现技法、带有鲜明的个人个性的技术语言，来表达迟腐中的红色题材，内容宏大的这样一个主题。那思路就是说，他是主张书法用笔的，主张情感倾泻型的画家，用书写之写来写画，他就不是一般的细抠细描，是种大河奔流似的感觉。是爆发型的艺术家。Shi Lu tended to write rather than paint on his canvas. Such a talent has made him an eccentric yet admired innovator. In the early summer of 1961, while doing sketches with fellow painters in Zaoyuan, west of Yan'an. Shi Lu came to the former residence of Mao Zedong in the revolutionary base. Visiting the place where he had spent the ten best years of his life, Shi Lu cast his mind to the days of war. In front of the same cave dwelling. The mighty trees has defiantly withstood the ravages of the years. Shi Lu began to contemplate how best to represent this view that had inspired him in his youth. Here at the revolutionary base of Yang'an, gathered a contingent of passionate and idealistic young people. Among them was a young man who rode a bicycle all the way from the Bashan Mountains. His name was Feng Yaheng. In 1937, at the age of 18, Feng Yaheng returned to his hometown in Sichuan Province after graduating from the Dongfang Fine Art Academy. 
following the July 7th incident in 1937, the patriotic cause for resisting Japanese aggression reached the young painter in a quiet mountain village. A pamphlet titled Mao Zedong's Autobiography fired up his passion for seeking truth. At the time, Yang An was already a spiritual magnet, drawing tens of thousands of aspiring young people, who regarded it a beacon of China's future. After a grueling and arduous journey, Feng Yaheng arrived in Yang An. Here, he first tasted the freedom and sense of hope unknown to his wealthy land-owning family. In this fresh new world. He reoriented the path of his life and adopted the name Shu Li. From Yang Han, he designed his one life's work as a work of revolutionary romanticism and realist realism. He admired the great painter Li Tao, the great literary writer Lu Xun. This is why he wanted to be a revolutionary, revolutionary artist. So he changed his name to Shu Li. The decade in Yang'an saw Shi Lu seeking artistic truth like an intrepid warrior. Here, the unadorned grandeur of the lowest plateau offered him a gold mine of subject matter. With the palette suffused by ink, he portrayed the glorious morning on mountain top. In his painting, the great leader gazed into the horizons, devising the strategy for the ongoing struggle and revolution. His use of varying shades of vermilion. In sharp contrast with green hues, displayed devoted passion. And he painted the flock of sheep streaming down the slope, and the gleaming terrace fields during autumn harvest. In Shi Lu's works. The landscapes of northern Shanxi, which had been neglected in traditional painting, came to acquire a profound aesthetics. His imagery resonates with the revolutionary passions and emotional immediacy. With the night ascending on Zaoyuan, the lamp flickered in the cave dwelling. Here, Mao Zedong composed a speech to serve the people, and penned his heart-stirring article, "Our Battle to Crush Japanese Aggressors." The residence was once the beacon that guided China through darkness towards its glorious destiny. Here in Zaoyuan. Shi Lu found his inspiration as he recalled the lamp flames, offering hope and direction for the pursuit of revolutionary ideals. These sporadic sparks then spread into a conflagration. Finally, Shi Lu got his artistic vision in Zaoyuan. As he prepared the ink. And put his brush to the paper. The muscular branches of the jujube tree emerged in the foreground of the cave dwelling's window. 就笔墨的结构，我相信它一定是经过了精心设计的。前面部分厚重、强悍啊，富有这样这样一种苍色感。中景摇动的这个窗户是用一种重墨勾勒，但是它是有飞白的。The symphony of ink and colors echoed the vigorous lamplight spilling out of the window.
with poignant feelings. The artist rendered the spectacle of an imminent dawn in the eastern sky. 他是通过这样一个间接的方式，使人想到伟人的操劳。他是一种间接表现，是一种画外有画、诗外有诗的一种艺术的表现，在革命历史画里边是非常独特的。The art expresses the creator's character and his view of life and the cosmos. In the image resides the artist's love for his country and his conception of Eastern aesthetics. The confined space of the paper contains Shirlu's passion for seeking truth, as well as the conviction. Of thousands of other fellow revolutionaries.